Good day, my name is Greg Duncan Mariano and I'll be discussing about information or channel capacity. Information capacity and channel capacity. Information capacity can be defined as the maximum rate at which the information can be transmitted through the channel without any error. Channel capacity C is defined to be the maximum rate at which information can be transmitted through a channel. The fundamental theorem of information theory says that at any rate below channel capacity, an error control code can be designed to whose probability of error is arbitrarily small. Information capacity can be defined as the maximum rate at which the information can be transmitted through the channel without any error. The channel capacity C, which is Madi discussed naman in the next slide, is said to be the maximum rate at which um, the at which information can be transmitted through a channel. Um, information capacity theorem or Shannon Hartley theorem. This was introduced by Claude Shannon, hence the name Shannon Hartley theorem. According to this theorem, the channel capacity is given by C is equal to D log base 2 of 1 plus S over N, where C is the capacity in bits per second, B is the bandwidth of the channel in hertz, and S over N is the signal to noise ratio. In this theorem, we will understand the relationship between the channel capacity C, bandwidth B, and signal to ratio, signal to noise ratio S over N. So it is the maximum rate of transmission of information to the channel with the unit bit per second in this theorem. So according to the information capacity theorem, the channel bandwidth and signal to noise ratio are both exchange exchangeable, meaning to reach the required amount of channel capacity, if the bandwidth is increased, then the signal to noise ratio should be reduced. So a trade-off occurs between the bandwidth and the signal to noise ratio to achieve the channel capacity. If the signal to noise ratio naman yung aangat or magi increase, then the bandwidth should be the one reduced. To put simply, higher bandwidth means lower signal to noise ratio and Higher signal-to-noise ratio means lower bandwidth. You can see here in the slide. Here, up bandwidth, down signal-to-noise ratio. Capacity then is directly proportional to the bandwidth. In this slide, we will be tackling how to solve Shannon Hartley theorem. The sample problem given here is calculate the capacity of Gaussian channel with the S over N of 7 and bandwidth of 4 kilohertz. If SN is increased to 15, calculate the percentage change in bandwidth to achieve the same capacity as earlier. So, yan. we will put out the given, which is signal to noise ratio is equal to 7, the bandwidth is equal to 4 kilohertz, and the, this is the equation for the capacity of how to compute the capacity which is C is equal to D log base 2 of 1 plus signal to noise ratio then we will substitute the D and the signal to noise ratio to their respective variables we will come up with C is equal to 4 kilohertz log base 2 of 1 plus 7 and log base 2 of 8 will be equal to 3 that's why we put it we substitute the log base 2 of 8 to 3. I mean, then to find the, I mean, yes, we will multiply the 4 kilohertz to 3 to come up with the channel capacity of 12 kilobytes per second, kilobits per second. In the second case, which is, we have a new value of the signal to noise ratio. Which is 15 and the value of the 
external capacity which is 12 kbps so here is the equation on how to solve the capacity but we are looking for here we are looking for the bandwidth that's why that's why we will derive the formula c is equal to b log b of 1 plus s over n to b is equal to c over log base 2 of s of 1 plus s, s over n then we will substitute the given to their corresponding variables which will become b is equal to 12 over log base 2 of 1 plus 15 we come up with the answer that bandwidth is equal to 6 and uh, as is stated in the problem here we should we will calculate the percentage change in the bandwidth to achieve the same capacity as earlier a capacity which is 12 kbps the percentage change to get percentage change we will first give the initial bandwidth and the final bandwidth and the computation for this will be initial bandwidth minus the final bandwidth all over the initial bandwidth multiplied by 100 which will become 25% that is the percentage change of the bandwidth for the next problem we will solve I mean, we'll, the second problem is to calculate the channel capacity with bandwidth of 30 Hz and signal to noise ratio of 40 decibels so here we have signal to noise ratio of 40 decibels or 10 base to the power of 4 because the value of the signal to noise ratio is in decibels we can we did this where 10 decibels is equal to 10 and 20 decibels will be equal to 10 base to 2 30 decibels will be equal to 10 raised to 3 and 40 decibels will be equal to 10 raised to 4. Since we have 40 decibel in our solution, we use we substitute the 40 decibel to 10 raised to 4. We have the bandwidth of 30 Hz and the equation of the channel capacity, which is here is equal to B log base 2 of 1 plus S over N. We uh, I saw most of the videos that I watched that they sometimes forget the log base 2 which is important to so to get the right to come up with the right answer for the channel capacity okay, so now we will substitute the given bandwidth and the signal to noise ratio to here so we substitute the bandwidth of 30 hertz log base 2 plus 1 over 10,000 because 10 base to 4 is 10,000 come up with the final answer of I mean sorry the we, we solve for the log base 2 of 1 plus 1, 10,001 we come up with 13.288 which will be multiplied to 30 and will be 398.64 bit, bit per second for the next problem we have for a, we have the problem for a typical telephone line with a signal to noise ratio of 30 decibels and audio bandwidth of 3 kilohertz maximum channel capacity is equal to how much again we will have the s over n or signal to noise ratio of which has the unit decibel but we cannot solve for the capacity if there are there is a unit decibel that's why we can substitute as i pointed out earlier that 10 decibel will be equal to 10 20 decibel would be equal to 10 10 raised to 2 30 decibel would be equal to 10 raised to 3 and 40 decibel would be equal to 10 raised to 4 that's why because this is 30 decibel it will become 10 raised to the power of 3 next is our bandwidth which is 3 kilohertz and the equation for the channel capacity Again, we will substitute the bandwidth and the signal-to-noise ratio to come up with 
in the equation of channel capacity. Then we will solve for the log base 2 of 1 plus 10 base to 3, which will be, which will be 9.967. It will be multiplied to 3 kilohertz, which will give us the answer of 29.9 or 30 kb. For the final problem, we now have the For a satellite TV channel with an S over N or signal noise ratio of 20 decibels and a video bandwidth of 10 megahertz, find the maximum data rate. We'll, again, we will list down our given, which are the signal to noise ratio of 20 decibel, or again, we will interchange it to 10 raised to the power of 2 because of the unit decibel in the signal to noise ratio. The bandwidth of 10 megahertz, the equation for the channel capacity or the base maximum data rate. We substitute the bandwidth and the signal to noise ratio and then we come up with the answer of for the log base to 1 plus 10 with the power of 2 which is 6.658 multiplied by 10 megahertz that will be which will come to the output uh, which when we multiply, we'll come out to be 66 MBPS. Thank you for watching the